Just drunk. When I heard about the idea of the Game Boy Advance back in the day, it was described as a portable Super Nintendo. Instantly the thought crossed my mind of playing some of my favorite Super Nintendo games on the go, but with some games they one up that and redid some aspects and even added some new features. That's exactly what's been done with Final Fight 1. Stylistically, it's still a lot more like the Super Nintendo port than the original arcade game. The enemies and backgrounds are all the same, but with a little more polish. Poison and Roxy from the arcade game remain missing, sadly. It's still Billy and Sid, but the first two bosses, Damned and Sodom, kept their original names over Thrasher and Katana. Guy is a playable character here, along with Cody and Hagar. He is by far the most fun character to use in my opinion because he's so fast. And the game also has multiplayer functionality with the game link. They were, however, able to include the industrial area level from the arcade game, so that's pretty cool. Although that level is hard as hell. In fact, the entire game is much harder than the Super Nintendo port, and that's because there's five enemies at the screen at once now, instead of just three. That really makes for some enjoyable chaos, but it can be frustrating. My favorite addition to the game are the hilariously goofy cutscenes before every boss battle that contain dialogue that sounds like something out of a Steven Seagal movie. I will beat your face in! Shut up! Another change that made me laugh was changing the voice of the poor guy sobbing over his car being demolished. Oh my god. So they gave him a northeastern accent? Oh my god. I don't know, I just thought that was funny. One really nice thing I like about playing this game, and the functionality of the Game Boy Advance in general, is that it has a resume feature. You can just shut off the game, and it'll save what level you're on. Granted, it doesn't save exactly where you are on the level, but at least you're allowed to resume your game. No need to go to a menu to save or anything like that, it's all automatic. Hey, that was high-tech stuff 12 years ago. The one con about this game is that the music and the sound both suck. The sound of kicking someone's ass was the most fun part of the Super Nintendo version. See, it's just not as satisfying. Anyway, other than that, there's not much else I can say here. The game is pretty straightforward. Did you like Final Fight for Super Nintendo? Then you should check out Final Fight 1 for Game Boy Advance. It's a more beefed up version of the original Super Nintendo port.